What's up, Gators? This is David Hater, and welcome back to Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. So, in the last video, we completed an Opera of Fear, which is the first episode of this game. So let's continue into the second episode of this game, which is Rumble Down Under. At first, it seemed just like old times. The gang was back in action. But little by little, we learned that Murray's heart just wasn't in it. Without the guru's permission to give up on his dreamtime training, he'd never really feel comfortable returning to the gang. We knew we needed to help him out. So, we packed up our things, whipped up some quick disguises, and headed for the Australian Outback. Along the way, Murray told us story after story about his teacher's amazing abilities. Apparently, this guru of his was capable of fantastic feats. He used the dream time to blend perfectly into his surroundings, and even gain mental control over the weak-minded. If even half the stories were true, then this was a guy I just had to meet. Our gang needed to grow its ranks for a chance to get inside the Cooper vault. And this guru, this outback mystic, was looking like the best recruit we could have ever asked for. However, when we finally arrived in the outback, it was a shock to find that things had changed. And the guru was nowhere to be seen. Sly Cooper and the gang in Rumble Down Under. Uendumu, Australia, Australia, 8.14 p.m. Is that even a real place? Because that does not sound like a real place at all. Let me know if that's, if that's actually a real place, guys, because, uh, yeah, that sounds kind of fake to me. New training challenges are available for Murray in the Hazard Room. Um, yeah, let's do it. Bring on the hazard room. Why not? Okay, so we can play as Murray now. If we wanted to. So let's do this. Press circle to learn how to use Murray's moves. to throw with. Try breaking all those pillars. Can do. Okay, so this seems familiar. Um, okay, so we gotta break the pillars, so then... Boom. How do you like that? Nice job. You can also pick up guards when they're knocked out. Great! I knocked the small guys out with one punch! You might have to be a little more subtle with the big flashlight guards. They're pretty tough. Sneak up behind this guy and sucker punch him while he's not looking. Then pick him up and throw him at the pillar. Gotcha. Sneak up, sucker punch, grab, throw, destroy. Kid stuff. Let's see what you got. All right. So we gotta get behind this guy and knock him out. 
Oh god, he went into the wall. An easy way to knock out guards is to throw something at them. Ah, the old rock to the head routine. Yep, throw a rock at that guard to knock him out, then pick him up and throw him at that pillar. Can do, little brother. All right, same stuff here. Grab him while he's out. And bada bing, bada boom. Well done. Okay, what's different about this next guy? He's got a ton of cash in his back pocket. Chump. He's just asking, begging me to rob him. That's right. You may not have the agility or technology to pick his pocket. But you can use your strength to mug him quite thoroughly. Oh, yeah. I just knock him flat, then pick him up. Once you've got him above your head, press the circle button to shake loose any coins he has and collect the goods. Keep at it until he's empty. The Murray will give this high roller a shakedown he'll never forget. Okay. So I just gotta... Knock him out, I guess, and then steal his stuff. Oh, we gotta shake him out. Shake him out. Oh, that's fucking awesome. That's a pretty cool okay, move. Murray, the juggle grab is one of your most powerful moves. You ready? Born ready. When facing off against smaller opponents, you can knock them into the air with your triangle button uppercut, and then grab them before they hit the ground by pressing the circle button. Okay, okay. Let me see if I've got it. Hit them with my triangle button uppercut, then yank them out of the air by pressing the circle button. Is that right? You got it. For this test, you'll have to pull it off three times and throw the guards at that pillar over there. Don't waste your time trying to fight them. Just focus on the technique. Bring on the pain. Okay, so Murray has a lot of new moves here. Which is pretty cool. Boom. Crap. Oh, God. Well, fuck me. Alright. That was the first time I failed there. And then, bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Pretty easy stuff, if I do say so myself. Alright. I'm liking that the uh, developers of this game are switching up how each character is treated. Excellent work. And played. Another handy move is your thunder flop. Oh yeah! Terror from above! Just jump and press the square button to break this ground plate a few times. All right, that's a familiar move. Boom. I gotta hand it to you, Murray. You're ready to take on the world. We're done in here. Head outside and crack some skulls. Okay, so I think we're done with the hazard room here. So, uh, yeah, let's go on and do the second episode of this game. Let's see what we can do. All right. So as always, we can buy some new gadgets here since I've collected a whole bunch of stuff. Holy crap. We got a whole bunch of uh, new gadgets here. We need to definitely level up uh, Sly's stuff here. So then, how about we just do this? So, um, or how about this? Push attack, level one. Press triangle, then circle to do a push attack. All right, sure. We'll do that. And... How about we do this one as well? Spin attack. Press triangle, triangle, and square to do a powerful spin attack. 
Sure. Okay, and then after that, I'll try to buy the rest of the stuff by trying to uh, loot some more people. Because I'm definitely going to try and loot some more people in this episode since I didn't do that too much in the last episode. Alright, so, uh, yeah. Really tore this place up looking for opals. Watch your step, they're sure to get rough defending their claim. Alright, so we're in a new zone here. By the way, as we're exploring this new episode, I just- Whoa, 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 no, 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 ah, fuck me, dude. Ah, crap. Nope. Jeez Louise. Why? Why, God, why? Fucking hell. Wait, nope. I'm back in here. Alright. Jeez Louise, I was trying to tell a story here. Okay, so like I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, um, this zone is actually the zone that I was talking about, um, when I first, uh, played Sly 1. Now, and if you guys did not know, um, in the original Sly Cooper game, I said that I played a demo for this game, and I was trying to find a game that I was, um, what, that I did the demo for, and it wasn't the first game, and it wasn't the second game. It was actually this game, and I say that because this zone is actually the zone in which I played a demo for when I was a teenager, and I started playing this game. So this game is what, um, basically made me know that Sly Cooper was a thing, and this game is what introduced me to the series. So yeah, that's pretty cool that we're finally getting to the game that introduced me to the Sly series after all this time. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say, so uh, yeah, let's actually do a job here now. Wait a minute. There we go. Holy crap. Alright. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, let's try to get up here. Oh. I didn't know I could jump like that. Alright, let's get rid of this guy. I'm looking forward to meeting him. Anybody you call Master must be a heck of a guy. Oh, he's awesome! He'll get inside your head and freak you out six ways from Sunday. Uh, awesome. Alright. So we gotta reach Murray's Master here. Fuck me. Fuck me! You didn't see anything. Jeez Louise. The guards here are so alert. Like, what the fuck? I don't know if it's because I'm playing terribly or what. Shit. What the fuck was that? Alright. Took care of him. Bada bing, bada boom. Sorry, pal. This cave's empty. Got any other ideas where he might be? Well, that's his hut. But he doesn't really hang out there on account of the smell. The smell? It's a long story. I had to apologize up and down for like a month before he'd speak to me again. What did you do? The un- Speakable, Sly. The unspeakable. Well, thanks for speaking of it. I'm headed for the hut. Okay. 
So we gotta get over there. Sure, we'll get over there. Whee! Oh god. Okay, I saw that kangaroo at the last minute there. Don't want him to look at me yet. Alright. Let me just sneak around this guy. Steal some loot from him. Alright. Now let's get over there. All right, let me just try and get over there. Let's see if I can actually get over there. Crap. Nope. All right. Boom, baby. Jesus, what the heck was that? Okay, luckily there's no clue about us to search for, so we could just do the job straight up. Which is fine with me. Sorry, Murray. Nobody's home. And by the looks of it, I'd say the guru was fighting someone or something off here. I'm starting to think the miners might have got to him. You might be right. They'd come in and be all angry and yelling and he'd be all peaceful and they'd just get kicked. Then he'd try to find a middle way, and they'd just go crazy and smash everything up, and then haul him off. Where do you think they might have taken him? They got him! My master's a goner! Maybe we should get Bentley on the line. It's tough to say, but given the layout of the miners' camp, I'd venture a guess that they used that area with a high fence as a makeshift stockade. Hmm. Looks like there might be a way up using that cliff below. Shouldn't be a problem. Just keep an eye out for that gyrocopter. I'm positive it's what gave away the guru's position. Good tip. Thanks, pal. All right. The fuck was that? Um. Okay, so we got to get over there. So then, how do I do that? How does one do that? Okay, we could go to get over here. No, God! Jeez Louise. Well, it's a good thing, uh... Oh, God, I gotta, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. Perfect! Oh no. There we go. Oh, okay, so. So that's the push. That's the spin. That's the regular spin. Okay, got it. These miners have no respect for the Aboriginal sacred sites. They're drilling into everything Ayers Rock, Kings Canyon. Wave Rock, the cultural insensitivity is sick of it. All right, so we're doing some good old platforming here. Just fine with me. By the way, I'm probably gonna take a break after I finish up with this episode. Well, not after I finish up this episode, but uh, this job. You must be the guru. I'm a good friend of Murray's. He's come asking to be released from his training. Sure, I'll just bust you out of here and we'll go talk to him. Hi, You seriously won't leave without your gear? Yeah, I can see that the miners have really done a number on your land here. As for your walking staff and moonstone, me and my gang have a real talent for stealing back things that were wrongfully taken. 
All right, job complete. The guru won't leave the stockade until he has his walking staff and his moonstone. He also insists that we purify Ayer's Rock of all miners. Only then will the Dreamtime spirits be appeased and the guru will be free to use his powers. Sly must have impressed him in their conversation, because now he is requesting that Murray and I meet with him individually. Something about judging our spiritual centers. I've discovered a passage for one of the miners' caves that should make getting up to the guru less difficult. He also mentioned that the miners had foolishly unearthed the Mask of Dark Earth. I guess it was his job to guard the thing, and now that it's out, bad things are sure to follow. Sounds like mumbo jumbo to me, but we've encountered some unexplainable phenomena over the years, so I'm not gonna rule it out as a threat to our operation. Okay guys, I know this is going to be a very short video, but I'm actually going to take a break here since I know these episodes can be very long and I'm going to definitely put out some more longer videos for you guys for this series since I know that you guys love this series and I definitely want to keep playing some more of it because I'm having a lot of fun and hopefully you guys are also enjoying this series and if you are, then please remember to leave a like to share your support and to let me know that you want more. Also, let me know what you guys think of this game in the comments below, and let me know if you guys have any tips or tricks for me if you played this game before. So thank you guys for watching, liking, and subscribing, and I will see you later Gators.